Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Patch 3.19 added Atlas Memories to the game. Atlas Memories are a new mechanic that let you essentially borrow someone else's Atlas for a little while, and this will be one of the masters. One of the complaints people had in 3.17 was that if they'd spec their Atlas one way, let's say you'd gone all in on Harbingers, and then you wanted to see what a Strongbox thing felt like, you needed to unspec all of the Harbinger points, then spec all the Strongbox ones, then maybe reverse that later once you discovered that you preferred your original setup. Atlas Memories instead let you borrow someone else's Atlas for four maps and also use their juicing materials. Rather than your sextants, rather than your scarabs, you use theirs. So that's the theory of them. However, they have some different mechanics to normal mapping and some of them have some pretty unique rewards. Yesterday I covered the Einhar's Memory of the Sacred Grove, which I'll put a link to down in the description below, but it's pretty explosive for giving you a lot of harvest juice. You fight a bunch of really oversized harvest crops the one that I think is perhaps the most interesting and underrated is Elva's Memory of Reverse Incursion. Gameplay footage will be playing in the background here, and that footage will start at 100% speed, and then I will speed it up after a little while so that it squishes into the same length as this video. And this is running a single map that has been scoured. I deliberately picked a scoured one because it ends up being the worst case scenario. You can juice this map with Alchemy Orbs, you can juice it with Val Orbs, you can juice it with Delirium Orbs, and if you do so, you will get more XP than I get here. This is a good baseline. A bit more than 8% of a level at level 92. For comparison, if you did a pure Esh Breach Stone at this level, you'd get 15% of a level. So this is essentially 55% of a pure Esh Breach Stone in terms of the amount of XP that you get. But this is only the first of four maps in that memory line, and if you do all four of them, they start escalating in the amount of XP that they give. Where the first one is 55% of a pure Esh Breach Stone, the second one will be more like 60, then 65, and then 70%. That's because the incursion packs that you see, you get more of them and they get a little bit bigger than they were. So the way that this memory works, every time you talk to Elva, instead of her sending you into the Temple of Atsuadal of the past, instead she brings the Temple of Atsuadal to you. A whole bunch of incursion themed monsters lie in wait, they pounce on you, they attack you, and most importantly, the whole zone has plus 100% XP. Then you're fighting these huge additional packs that are mostly magic monsters, Ultimately, these are extremely underrated in Trade League at the moment. I was paying only 10c for each of the memories that I've got here, and each of them has four uses. I feel like they should probably be around 30c or so. They are meaningfully worse than Purified Breach Stones. Purified Breach Stones are just faster. And they're also a lot safer if you're just getting started out. You'll see I deliberately tank a couple of hits in there, a couple of the slams from the incursion bosses, and those are not particularly dangerous, as you'd know if you've done the Temple of Atsuidal a bit. Highly recommend giving this one a go. I'm going to make videos on any of the others that I find that are interesting. I'm going to make sure that I test them all out during the next couple of days. If you haven't given the Elva's Memory of Cascading Fortune's Strongbox themed one a go, I'd recommend giving that a try as well. Don't have high expectations for that one. It's a little bit of fun, but it's not something with particularly high repeat value and doesn't seem all that strong. I'd definitely give it a go to see what it's like, but essentially you'll be fighting Strongboxes that open multiple times and any traps on those Strongboxes can and will kill you when they go off. So just be aware of that. Things like Ice Nova Traps are really dangerous because a strong box automatically opens when you finish the one before it and it'll have the same mods as the first one and that can get you ganked. But it is a lot of fun and it's worth a try. Anyways, that's all I got on this. May your Valobs have interesting results and I will see you around.